It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Frisky Bear Brewing Company and it's a can of their Resistance is Futile German Pilsner. Now I'm reviewing this Sunday night whilst the Germans are playing Spain in the football. And the Germans need to win the match to get out of the group or to try and get out of the group. If they lose to Spain, then I hope they win. Personally, I hope the Germans win. I hope they get through this group. Um, they then have to play Costa Rica. Come on, Germany. Right, uh, German Pilsner. Uh, this is a 440 milliliter can, 5% ABV. British beer, frisky beer uh, from the UK. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. A little bit of smoke on the can opening. Beer in the glass. Went with a pretty rigorous pour there, um, just to try and develop some kind of head. Uh, it's a very, very small, it's a slither of a head, to be honest with you. Uh, nothing there at all. Good levels of carbonation, though. It's a hazy-looking pilsner. Straw-coloured. Uh, let's get the aroma. Smells very good. Very, very good. Oh, it's really... It's got a really big dryness to it. Citrusy and spicy. And you definitely pick up that Pilsner malt. It smells good. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, that's really nice and crisp. In fact, to go with the crispness, the malt is quite sweet. The malt used in this beer, that Pilsner malt, is, is coming through as quite a quite sweet. But it's nice. It's really nice. It smelt really dry, but it's not as dry as the aroma kind of tells. The, the aroma is telling a story of dryness, whereas when you're tasting it, it's quite juicy, actually. It's quite refreshing. Now, you can see the carbonation rising up the side of the glass there, slow-moving carbonation, but it's quite... It's almost an accidental check pour because a lot of the it's not the biggest carbonated lager. It's not kind of hissing and fizzing. It's quite. I'm not going to use the word flat. It's just, it's just there's not much carbonation in there. But because there's not much carbonation in the beer, you're able to drink the beer quite quickly. But it's quite grainy. It's quite grainy and biscuity and sweet. Probably one of the sweetest Pilsners I've ever had. But it's a nice level of sweetness because you still got that kind of Pilsner bitterness on the back end. That, that bitterness from the hops and the spiciness and the pepperiness. So that sweetness really does balance off that lovely kind of bitter finish on the back end. It's very sessionable and very drinkable. 5% ABV, a premium lager quality ABV on this one. It's also quite stinging nettle-like as well. That's a nice aspect of the beer, the stinging nettle, the spiciness and the pepperiness if you think of darwin the origins what do they call it the tree of life darwin's tree of life well 
the stinging nettle and the hop were very, very close together on the, they were probably on the same branch, probably a couple of twigs moving off in different directions. So the stinging nettle and the hop is very, very close. So before they actually found hops, they used to use stinging nettles to brew the beer with. And, and that's why some varieties of hops might taste slightly stinging nettle like, like this one is today. But it's really, really, the biggest aspect for this beer for me, the biggest thing about this beer is just its drinkability. How refreshing and lovely this beer is. Very good, very, very good. Uh, resistance is futile, right? A classic German Pilsner with a twist. We fermented this at 35 degrees Celsius with a Norwegian Kvik yeast, which gives it a little fruity characteristic. So they've used German Pilsner malts with Kvik yeast, right? Maybe that's the sweetness. Maybe that's where all that sweetness is coming from. Maybe, maybe that's the what I'm getting here because it's fermenting quite highly. But I like the, I do like the the can art on this one. Um, it's a, it's definitely a lager I could drink quite a lot of. Uh, the ingredients are water, malted barley, wheat, hops, yeast, and I, I want to know that they're based. There's a reason why I want to know where they're based. We'll get to that in a moment. Um, they are based in Howley Park Road, Morley LS, which is Leeds, I think. So Morley. Morley in Leeds. Now, the reason why I say that is because this beer was kindly sent to us by Bingley Brew Club. Now, Bingley Brew Club have beers. If you subscribe to their subscription service, which... You get a lower tier and a higher tier in terms of price. You get a packet of crisps in each one, a few beers in each one. But all of the beers are based in the Leeds, Bingley, Bradford kind of area of the UK. So you've got salt, frisky beer, salt, salt air, Vocation, Magic Rock, Northern Monk, Timmy Taylor's, North Brewing Company, Binney, Elkley, Black Sheep, Kirkstall, Horsforth, Wishbone, Amity, Bruco, all these wonderful brewing breweries in that lovely area. Now, I say, and I stand by this, Leeds, Yorkshire, that Yorkshire area is probably the best place in the UK to get your beer from. It's probably the leading area of craft beer making in the whole of the UK. Lots of fantastic breweries from that area. So if you're looking for some beer from the Leeds, Yorkshire area, they deliver all over the UK. Check out Bingley Brew Club. So I'm about I'm about ready to rate this. It looks very good. Nice and hazy. Good levels of carbonation. So the only thing I'm going to say is, is because it fermented out really quickly. Um, you kind of like mature lager. You're meant to like give it a, like a maturation process of about. Some breweries do it for three months. So lager means to store. Some breweries do it over three months. But the fermentation is really quick on this one. And I imagine they did it because they had no place to store the lager. I don't think this has had the proper kind of lager in process to it. More of a maybe like a. German style Pilsner, but yeah, with some quickies, which gives it a definite fruitiness. But what I like about the beer, and I'll say it again, is it's incredibly drinkable. So it looks good, smells good, tastes good. I like this beer enough to give it, I'm going to say an 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10 from Real Craft Beer. Pick it up at Bingley Brew Club. If you like the video, please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.